Hello everybody, welcome to another spectacular Izzy Fun video. Um, this is our first video in our official YouTube channel. And um, so what you need for this is you need like some sort of jug, some orange or somewhere in the neighborhood of orange shaded string, um, some water, I would say about a cup of water maybe, depending on how big you're gonna make um, your bowl of candy. Um, and then some like glue, any sort of glue. Um, Elmer's glue works just fine. And then a bowl and then a super large paintbrush. Okay, so to get started, we're going to use a spoon, some the water and then the glue and then a bowl. So first what you're gonna do is just, I would just screw off the entire lid and then you're just gonna pour some glue into the bowl. Okay, so once it is poured into your bowl, maybe like this amount, just this much of amount, and then you're just gonna pour a tiny bit of your water into it, and then stir it. And then you don't wanna put too much water in it because then it will be too runny, but you don't wanna put um, too less of water because then it will be too thick and then that won't work. So you just wanna get it just right. Just slowly adding more and testing it until it gets like, kind of like a toothpaste. Maybe a bit like, like a runny toothpaste consistency. So you wanna get it into where it's like about this thick of a consistency. Not too thick, but not too runny. So kind of like a sap or like honey sort of, but a bit runnier. So next what I'm going to do is I have another bowl a bit bigger and this little jug that my mom uses for PE because she drinks a lot of water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit this and prop it up right in the bowl somewhere like that. And I'm going to set this off to the side. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellowish oranges string and I'm just going to pull out a bunch of it and then prop it in the glue and water mixture and just cover it completely in that. Just stir it around. Try to get as much as possible to, it's kind of like a paper mache bowl almost like, but with string. And you could use it for decorations, but I'm going to use it as a candy bowl. So now that I have my entire bowl filled with string, I might, I'm just going to get down in it and try to mix as much as possible and I might make a bit more, I might make a bit more of like the glue water mixture to pour on it because I don't think this is enough. So I'm just going to make, I'm just going to set this out and then I'm going to make some more in the bowl and then put it right back in. So pretty much, basically, you could just use the entire bottle if you think that it would be enough, which I'm pretty sure it will be enough, but um, you always need a bunch of this to help cover it up. So I'm just going to use an entire bottle of it. So now that I have all of it and I made some more and I have it all covered up in the glue water mixture. I'm gonna take my jug and bowl again, and I'm just gonna start covering it with all of it, just in different directions, just completely covering it. And then I would say, I would say about this line right here for me is where I'm going to try to get it like not past this point. I'm gonna try to get all the string in that area and even covering up here, cause that'll be the base where I set it down and then get my candy. Okay, so now that I have the whole entire thing covered up, I'm going to take the bowl. So anything, if it drips off to the side, it'll just drip down into the bowl. And I'm just going to leave it here for a couple of days. And then I'll watch it harden. Or I won't watch it harden, but it'll harden. And then I'll take it off in two days. So it's the next day. And apparently mine hardened in one day. So uh, yours might harden in two days. Um, but I am going to take this off 
and just try to be as gentle as possible without like ripping anything and then just slowly slide it off and then whoa this looks really cool and so obviously the bottom if I wanted it to make it like a candy bowl or something to put candy in for Halloween I am going to put a little piece of cardboard because some of the candy might sink through obviously because there's like a bunch of holes but then you could also use this for decorations like on the wall you could like put a little um, tack and then just hang it up or you could use it to put your keys in but since it's near Halloween we are going to draw a little pumpkin face on this with our black paint so let's go so I have placed a little dab of black paint on a napkin and because I'm only going to need a little bit for it and I decided that my big paintbrush might not work because it's not as big as I thought it would be so I'm just going to use a little paintbrush so I'm going to dip it inside my paint and then I'm just going to paint on a little pumpkin face. Okay, so I am done with the little face. It's not exactly the best because there's a lot of holes, obviously, with the string. I probably should have done it in a different spot, like maybe over here where there's more string. And like you can see right here that there's a giant gap. So it doesn't look as good, but hopefully you find a good spot where you can do your face on your little pumpkin. And I, what I might do is I might take some black paper and put it behind just to bring out the eyes and the mouth some more and so I'm gonna go do that and I will see you after I'm done okay so now that I have put the paper on it looks much better and more defined like a pumpkin and so pretty much I'm basically done with this already except for the fact that the candy or whatever I'm going to put in here um, might go through because it's so there's so many holes so basically what I have here is my jug and then some thick construction paper so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jug and my construction paper and I'm going to set the jug on top of the construction paper and then I'm just going to trace around it and cut that out Okay, so I now have cut out my little circle and I am going to place it in my candy bowl, my jack-o'-lantern candy bowl. And I'm just going to use it as a little floor mat basically for it. And so I placed it inside and now you have your finished product, your finished little string candy bucket, jack-o'-lantern candy bucket. Yeah.